What's going on, YouTubers? Welcome to another video. Uh, doing my nightly tour before I go to bed, where I go through. I already actually dusted the bottom statues in my Lord of the Rings room. Going through, checking out the cave, admiring it, you know. And wanted to go ahead and film a video for you guys as I'm walking through the cave. <clears throat> so I actually boxed up the Predator one third and Tanjiro. You know, since they're sold, I wanted to just get them boxed up. And for the time being, I, you know, Z Warriors isn't going to ship for, honestly, probably a long, long time. It just entered production now. So I decided to just put Link here and put Neo there. When Ganondorf arrives, I'll put him here. Uh, simply because I don't have another good spot for Ganondorf. I don't want him next to Neo. So I'm like, you know what? We'll just put it right here for now. Because Z Warriors, that ain't arriving for a long time. You know, with those many characters, there's definitely going to be production delays, shipping time. I think that might be a year out before we see that. I know KD said six months, but I don't believe that. I think we're a year out. So, just to remind everyone of the statues that I am selling. Now, I am in no technical rush to sell these simply because I don't need the space for a year, but we are selling Anubis for 1,500 shipped and Cyclops for 1,600 shipped. Buy them together, I'll do it for 3K. Uh, those are the statues for sale. So today I did want to do a re-review for you guys and we're actually going to do Rotunda T-Rex. You know, I've had this for a few years now. There's been several T-Rex statues that have released since. You know, Prime 1 released a few different 1 tenth scales. There's also the, what was it, 1 twelfth scale? No, Prime 1 did 1 15th scale and then ECC Cinema Cat did it like a 1 12th scale that looked, you know, pretty good size. That one, paint job and detail wise, I think is the best T Rex ever made. However, the base and the concept is not near as good as this, and that's why I never bought it. I did love the detail. Don't get me wrong, I really, really like glass eyes on a on a T Rex or like a dinosaur statue. I feel like it just brings it to life. You know, now on some of the smaller scaled stuff, you know, especially like Dilophosaurus or some of these 115s, I don't think glass eyes are necessary. I mean, the eyes are really good on this raptor. It doesn't necessarily need to be glass. I would have loved this to be glass eyes. You know, this statue is near perfect, but a few things. The eyes, now they're okay. It's literally just a black circle there's no veins, there's a little bit of, uh, you know, a little bit of color difference, you know, like it's, but still, I do not consider that eye to be super good. Like, it's okay, but it's not super good. The mouth does look good. I like the mouth. There's a decent gloss. All the wounds have a good color to them. And, you know, there's not too many dots that make it look ugly. I'm not a fan of this at all. I hate this. It's either you, you know, display the Velociraptor there, or you do that. Now that does not look good, but I try to do this like the movie accurate version, and when you have this logo, you technically don't want the Velociraptor there. I love the overall base. The Velociraptor here on the base looks sick. The base is incredible. I did add quite a few things to my base to make it, you know, look better. You know, I added this, which actually came with that, but I think the scaling is perfect. And I added a few of these. And then I wall mounted the logo there. You know, and this is a nice piece of paper. I mean, overall, I still believe this is the best T-Rex statue. I do believe this is a grail. I just wish two things changed. That and glass eyes. If you did that, the overall paint app I think is really good. The sculpt, fantastic. The pose, the size is super impressive. This thing is like 
30 inches in diameter. So it's a huge centerpiece and it's definitely, you know, absolutely amazing. I really, really like this uh, Rotunda T-Rex to this day. You know, it's basically kind of like kind of the same of when I first got it. It's the, still the best T-Rex in the market for like a full body T-Rex that's reasonable. I've never seen the Chronicle one-fifth in person. I don't like the base or pose, but it is ginormous with glass eyes. I've never seen ECC in person, but conceptually, I think this is just 10 times better. If ECC made theirs bigger and like this, I 100% would have bought it. But it just looked small and I just couldn't dig, you know, everything else. Now, if I had unlimited space, I'd still would buy it because I love T-Rexes. You know, I would never would have sold my Iron Studios one, but space is always a collector's biggest enemy. You know, I was going to get the Queen T-Rex bust, as you guys know, but I did get scammed by Resin GK. And so there's just, unfortunately, that was just never meant to be. It's probably for the best just because that piece was so big. I was worried about it fitting in my house. I was worried about putting it in the basement going navigating through the stairs i was also worried you know like right now you see how clean this display is imagine a five foot tall ginormous t-rex that's like 50 inches deep and wide right there it just really cluttered the display i i'm pretty sure like instantly the moment i put it there i'd be like yeah that's not gonna work and then i'd have to put it where underworld is because that's the only spot i realistically could put it and then you'd have to change this whole display and it'd cause a lot of issues so it's probably for the best we never got it if i could put it like upstairs next to my tv upstairs boom that would have been perfect but the wife has stated i need to pay her like twenty thousand dollars if i want statues upstairs so yeah overall let's talk value now this thing retailed what was it like 2500 is what I paid, I think. I typically see it go for 3000 plus shipping. It's definitely worth that, in my opinion. Definitely worth 3k. You know, I would, you know, venture to go say, like, I would say this is worth more than that. I would say this is worth 4000 You know, like, if I was in the market for this and I couldn't find it anywhere, but I found it for 4000 and I really wanted it, I would buy it for that. You know, of course, you're going to want to get this, the T-Rex, you know, little stand there and that logo. I believe one of those is like the extra. I can't remember. But yeah, I would say this is like a $4,000 piece to me. It is my favorite dinosaur statue overall, and I freaking love it to death. It's definitely a true centerpiece. You know, Fortunately, I do at least have this T-Rex, which has immaculate paint, sculpt, glass eyes, detail. So, now this will definitely do. I do wish I could get this lower just because that angle, it's not like horrible, but I would love to have it like right here. You know, it's kind of a shame the way they angled this. This one is good up high. This one's good down low. It's almost like they're meant to be displayed like this underneath it. You know, but I, I, the way I am, I have to have them level. And I couldn't really do them too much lower, otherwise it would look too close to this piece. So, you now ultimately, I still think I did the best choice, you know. Now, it still looks great. I, I, I just would love it lower, to be honest. But, yeah, overall, I would say it's worth 4K. Overall rating, I'd probably say, you know, it's like a 9.5 out of 10. If they just fix the glass eyes, fix this. I like the idea of the Velociraptor here. Don't get me wrong, I really like that. But they should have somehow made this better, not that. You know, it, I don't know how else they could have done it. But if they could have somehow made this seam line much better. I, I like the Raptor, but I would forego the Raptor to have a seamless right there. You know, like, just have the Raptor on the base, that's fine. You know, I haven't displayed the Raptor on it for probably five or six months, but I did display the Raptor for several years. Because I do really like the Raptor, it's really cool. But I'm trying to go for that iconic look. Anyways, folks, uh, but yeah, that's my opinion on the Rotunda T-Rex. Still an absolutely amazing piece, and I do highly recommend it. It definitely 
doesn't necessarily feel outdated by any means. There is a smaller scaled version that's 1 15th. However, I feel like it's underscaled. When I see it next to the other 1 15th T-Rexes, it looks a little too small to me, you know, but it's obviously much easier to display. You know, so if you still wanna get one, it doesn't have that seam line. Uh, it's a lot cheaper, of course. I think you could pick it up for like 800 bucks. You know, it's definitely a good option to get. You could probably even pair it with those like one tenth scale raptors surrounding it. Anyways, folks, let me know what you guys think. In terms of next statues I'll be getting, uh, I'm pretty confident it's going to be the Ape Sapien life size bust. And, uh, you know, of course, Ganondorf. That hasn't shipped yet, but Ape Sapien life size bust is uh, definitely going to be the next one. I'm just waiting for my wait list to convert. I'll see you guys in the next one. Like, comment, subscribe. Have a great day.